Alright, so first and foremost, I want to give a piece of tea. How about Shem? How about Shai? How about Shem Akakadash? Double and the tail is in a positive of Shem's statement. Stone and salutation to all your kims out there doing this word in sincerity and in truth. Brother, our bar from the Jamaica GMS camp, you know, I'm going to kick it off like this. It's a first John 3 and 4, you say. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And why I start it out the way basically because we know one polluted society where people are drop the right and center. Well not a lot but daily, you know. And everybody have this thing to say yo oh, innocent people are dying. You see me? So we're going in the scriptures and actually show say yo oh, them people are not innocent. You see me? So cover one part you say yo oh, who Whosoever committed sin transgressed the law, for sin is a transgression of the law. Right, 613 laws, and as I said, a society are polluted and toxic, right? Or people don't follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, right? So basically, we're sinning against the Heavenly Father. And what are the, what are the outcome of that, right? We're going to get into that now. Romans 6.23 Yeah, this is Romans 6 and 23. So, for, for the wage of, wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Yahweh Shayam Mashiach, our Lord. Right? So, 613 laws. Example, um, you have those shall not eat pork. Right? You're not supposed to touch it when it's dead. You're supposed to leave the carcass alone because you're unclean. But yet you have people out here who basically get all defensive when I tell them that because to them pork are the sweetest meat, you know. The man tell you say yo half of your life gone and them thing you not knowing say yo them are disrespect them heavenly father, right? And I put themselves at death, really. You see me? When you should not seek half of the heavenly father, right? Them going against the next one is adultery. Adultery is great in the society, adultery is idolizing the society. If you're not Tamper with somebody woman, you are not nobody because if you even say yo, oh, we don't fool on people woman, man, start cuss you. I say I eat that because other man are fool on fear woman and that's the mentality where they have today. Right? So which explains why so much of them are dead. Right? Been I get cussed out because me actually I explain to somebody say yo oh, explain this to somebody, right? Because a community member recently died, you know, so them across me and say, yo, I say things like this and I somebody with me no one, somebody with. But it doesn't change the fact that she lived a wicked life, right? And that has judgment, right? Yeah, so, it's so like about that. Yeah, so she basically faced her judgment, you see me? If she did a continue down a righteous path and seek the most, you see me? Because she actually knew the prophet, right? And somebody with scarf at the prophet. You see me that make it even worse. You see me? Which is why she faced her judgment if she did actually basically, you know, um a seek after the heavenly father. You know? The heavenly father would have shield her from certain things. Right? Because I heard that it was like two strokes and things like that I would know say oh things like that would are normally painful, right? Which I will most I promise them when them go off. Right? They shall die of grievous deaths. Yeah, they might die of grievous deaths. You know? They might, go, they might get put to in a, death in a some wicked ways, right? And we see that out here day to day. Just go to a scripture there quick. Um, 16. Um, uh, Alright, this is Jeremiah 16, starting at 3, so far. Thus saith the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that begot them in this land. They shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. And they shall be consumed by sword and by famine, and their carcass shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth. This I talk about Jacob's trouble, but you know, the most I actually uh, uh, kill people from now, right? Him being a kill people because people actually go off, right? 
him send the angel that they come take them life because what them sin and not saying that all that we do are sin are perfect but yeah I mean I don't try to practice the laws as best as possible we rehearse it as mean so the most I might have a little mercy on me people they don't do that right or people in Ghana off and do all type of wickedness right of scripture see Mm-hmm. Isaiah 1 verse 3 said the ox know his own and the ox is master script but Israel do it not know my people do it not consider so a sinful nation a people laden with iniquity a seed of evil doers children that are corruptors they have forsaken the Lord they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger they have gone away backwards right so you can know of a count where she be not eat pork and thing like that you see me? She scorned the prophets of the Lord. You know the men out there in the highways and byways. And she have her daughter them promote them in a whoredom. Alright? That's one of the biggest ones. She have her daughter them promote in a whoredom. But what? All of a sudden, she become this great person when she died. You know? No. And I say it work. Death is death. If she did actually innocent, then the Mosai would actually spare her. But she's not. And I get one more scripture for back point right Job 4 and 7 says remember I pray thee who have perished being innocent or where was where were the righteous cut, cut off right name one time within the scripture where you see me you have an innocent person dying right or where was the righteous cut off scripture says all have sin and fall short of the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai but you have men out men and female out here right now, I try, you know, seek mercy, right? They ain't they out praying to the word of the most high. But you have people out here, the, the rest of them, we just continue with them fleshly life, you know, do as them please. But the most high said death unto you guys, right? I want to go escape it. Um. Oh, so like yeah. hmm. Romans 1, what's going on here? Hmm. Alright, start at 28, right? Say, and even as they did not like to ret- retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a rep- reprobate mind to do the things which are not convenient. Say, being filled with unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, mercy. Maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of Yahweh, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. And God going to say, who knowing the judgment of Yahweh, that which commit that they which commit such things are worthy of death right so the scripture say worthy of death so when you see people out here being put to death and not because yo that man bad mind them are you see me but because them sin against the heavenly father and the heavenly father had judged them right right he said not only do the same but both have pleasure in them that do them right the most I judge you people daily because of your wickedness. Right? And him never stop judging. You see me? Until he repent. You see me? Repent and seek the most I. And I just that I eat. So, that I uh, give all praises to your whole boss. I'm your shy boss. I'm a cockadash. So, blind and today, listen to the of James Green. It's totally salutation to all your kings out there pushing this revenge in theory and in truth. Shalom.